all of a sudden I start seeing the cars ahead of me make like this little bit of a dip and I right away knew something wasn't right because I drive that road a lot. A subtle clue spelled disaster to this experienced engineering tech who had mere minutes to register the problem and react. I hit it with my car, bottomed out. And then instantly turned on my lights, pulled over to the left, and then started backing up slowly. Watched like four, four more cars go over it, and a motorcyclist, and then it just collapsed in, made a hole. The sinkhole measured 19 by 12 feet and was 20 feet deep. I could have put probably four of my cars in there stacked up. Opening up just after noon last Wednesday on a stretch of interstate that moves at a fast clip. I ended up. Being able to back my car up and position it enough to block the hole on the opposite side of it because I didn't know how big it was. I didn't want to try to maneuver around it. Sardarelli credits that last motorcycle to cross the dip with slowing down the flow of traffic. He says the saddlebags were jolted off the bike, scattering tools across the lanes of traffic. Drivers responded by slowing down. It could have been a whole different story if it was at night, on a weekend. You know, there's so many. Possibilities that could have happened. A miracle, really. Not a single injury or collision. Hey, I was just in the right place at the right time. You know, it, it worked out for the good of the public and to be able to be able to know who to call. Amy Cavino, WMUR News Nine.